Hello, my name is Russell Toll. Here is uh, another image from one of my icosahedral kaleidoscopes. Uh, such kaleidoscopes are made from three mirrors joined to make a kind of triangular pyramid. Uh, and then an object placed within those three mirrors, within that pyramid, which is propagated under reflections into well, into what we see, objects with icosahedral symmetry. Here, a sphere is placed directly on an axis of five-fold symmetry in the kaleidoscope. And now, spheres are on axes of five-fold, three-fold, and two-fold symmetry in the kaleidoscope. There's really only three spheres, but they would appear to be many more than that. Three-dimensional parallel sections of a regular four-dimensional star polytope. If we were in four dimensions, we could assemble the various sections and build up the four-dimensional object, but we're not in four dimensions. Still, we can gain an idea of what the four-dimensional object is like by looking at these sections. Uh, they don't go quite all the way through. Now here, 12 rhombic icosahedra uh, meet at a single point. Uh, the beginning of a space filling, which could fill all of space, uh, using um, oh, a complex of a half a dozen different types of zonohedra. And the space filling could itself have icosahedral symmetry. Here are plain sections of that array of 12 icosahedra. And now, another zonohedral space filling being built up from the center out, and it has icosahedral symmetry itself. Uh, if you keep your eye on it, you'll see how there are axes of five-fold, three-fold, and two-fold symmetry. It's quite uh, a miracle of programming, if I do say so myself, rendered in pauvre, and, and the way the zonohedra comes zooming in from space, at first transparent, then opaque white, and then changing color after they uh, gain their final position on the uh, bounding zonohedron, that they are gradually accumulating and building up uh, this bounding zonohedron. And such is uh, a geometrical museum. Goodbye.